my name is Tina and this is going to be my January favorites. I haven't done uh, my favorites in a while. My last was June, so I'm really sorry. But anyways, I am back and I'm going to try my best to do a monthly favorite for the next year. If it's not going to be a monthly favorite, then it could be like an every other month favorite, if you know what I mean. So yes, before this video takes too long, and I know it's going to take long because I have lots of products to show you guys since it's been a while since I made a favorites video. So let's just get it started right now. Let's start off with Muffet. So for the first product that I've been really loving for my face is my L'Oreal Magic BB Cream. So basically what I love about this product, it's it's a BB cream. It's a moisturizer and a foundation in one. And um, the color though, it's white. And then it just kind of blends to your skin. I'm not really sure how this is going to work for darker skin tones. Maybe it can work. But I've only used this... To myself and my sister but we're of the same color so I, I can't really tell that much but I really really like this if you want to try it out it is worth trying and it has this illuminate like it's it's kind of matte but it's glowy and the coverage isn't that thick so that's also really good in my book if you if you want to use it every day so this one is a plus the next foundation that I've been using for the past few months is my Cryolon um, foundation the supra color and I really like this. A little goes a long way. Like I've said in my haul before, um, a lot of makeup artists really use this foundation because it does last for the whole day. So I really like this. I've been using this and as you can see, I've finished it basically. And yeah, I'm probably going to buy more of these. So for the powders that I've been loving to set my face with is the Intuit um, Two Way Cake Foundation. I have two because um, I'm tanner right now. I've said that a million times, but I'm tanner right now. So I bought a foundation um, that's a little bit lighter for my skin tone. So I bought a darker one. I tried it and it was perfect. So what I use to highlight is the 02 Warm Beige. And what I use for my all-around face is the 03 Harvest. These are $899, I think. Um, lower than $900, basically. So it comes along with the refill pack. And um, I don't know, I like it if you want to save because if you just buy one, it's like 500. So buying the one with the refill saves you around 200 pesos. So I think that's a good bargain for me. So I have four now. <laughs> okay, I need to say something more about this product. <laughs> the coverage of this is basically just like the Fanny Serrano. These kinds of foundation, I don't like it when you use the flash of your cell phone camera because it kind of has a white cast but if you use a normal camera like you know a video camera or a professional camera it doesn't really have the white cast but if you use the cell phone camera and with a flash it has so I don't I don't know why it's like that with my camera phone but I guess just to be safe use a professional or digicam or you know a normal flash kind of flash but yeah, don't use this when if you, if you want to take a lot of photos in your phone, basically. So a coverage of these is about medium to full, yeah. Pretty thick, it's just like Fanny Serrano, like I'm saying. But Fanny Serrano also changed their formulation, so it also has a white cast, so just saying. Yes, Fanny Serrano and this is about the same. If you want to try a different product, then you can switch on to these, just to be safe. As for the eyebrows, I've been using a lot of the eye dough pencil it's just like this and really normal brow pencil it's like 35 pesos um i started using this when i dyed my hair black and it's just perfect i'm not using it right now but if you see my instagram photos i guess this is all i've been using every single day so yeah pretty good but what's different though for my eyebrow routine i've been using this gosh long lasting brow pen and yeah, it's a pen like this. If you've tried the Tony Moly 7 Day Tattoo, which I loved and raved about months ago, this is kind of the same, but it, it doesn't stain. So it's just temporary. If you wash it, it'll come off. Ugh, I really like this. It gives you a really crisp, you know, eyebrow. And if you, if you guys are into that, then this would be perfect for you. But if you guys want the whole soft eyebrow kind of look, then, you know... This wouldn't be, but if you have like really thin brows and you want more texture in it, this would work as well. I love it. If you guys watch the Pixie Sisters, that's where I learned 
um, to use a pen in the brows. Gosh though is a European brand and it's a little bit um, in the high-end drugstore kind of brands so you know this will be quite expensive in the drugstore world. But it's very worth trying, yes. This was given to me by my friend from Ireland, which I made a makeup swap with, but I haven't done a video about it, and actually all of the makeup is just everywhere right now, so I'm probably not gonna make one, but I'm raving about this, and she gave this to me, so thank you for picking the right color for me. So, yeah, it's perfect. I love now it. Now for my eyes. For the past year or so, I've just been using my MAC Paint Pot in Painterly just to prime my eyes. Um, this is the best eye primer that I've tried so far. I'm probably going to move on to um, Soft Ochre just because of the color because this is a little bit too paley white for me. So if you guys are leaning on more to the yellow skin tone, then Soft Ochre would be perfect for you guys. But if you're into you know the pinky tone, then this would be great on you. But actually, you're going to cover it with eyeshadow, so it's not really going to matter. I've been using this forever there's still so much in it so guys your 1200 would be worth it i've been using this also with my clients can you just imagine like there are scrapes there because i've been using it everywhere and there's still so much so guys investment another product that was given to me by my friend angelica from ireland is the catrice cosmetics absolute eye color and i'm really liking this just because of these two colors whoa if you guys follow me again on Instagram, I posted a Kim Kardashian soft smoky eyes. Two has been my go-to smoky eye for the past month, if not two months. So yeah, I really like this. I'm sorry it's not going to be available for us Filipinos here. But if you are from Europe and you guys know this brand, then definitely get this quad just because of these two colors. Thank you, Angelica. So what is available in our country is the Essence Eyeshadow Quattro. This one, I've also been using these two colors just in case I don't want to use that other one. I use these two colors just to create a very simple smoky eye. Think like about this certain palette, the darker brown is matte, so that creates more dimension to your eyes. This is really cheap, and Trina told me that this is one of her go to um, palettes for every day. So, guys, do check the Essence Quattro in to die for 05 worth trying. If you guys have seen my resolution tag, I said that my favorite beauty product for 2013 was the Prestige Cosmetics palette. Um, I actually thought about it and I was like, hmm, I used the Everbelena eyeshadow more last year, like almost every single day for my clients, for myself, to my mom, to everyone just because this brown color is just amazing on the crease it, it gives you a nice gradient if you want a light eyes if you want darker eyes i still put it around my crease it's just so i just love this color so much i even love this color this is probably an eyeshadow that i will just keep purchasing for the rest of my life and i will be using if not every day, probably every week. Like, guarantee I'm using this every week. If you want, you can just buy the palette that has three only, which is only these two browns and the red one. This is what I used on my eyebrows when I still had red hair. So, Everbalena, once again, you made me proud. Thank you. I was trying to close it. There we go. Okay, so for the eyeliner that I've been using for the month of January is my Urban Decay, um... 24-7 glide on pencil. It's really small just because this is like two years old and I've just started using it because I was thinking, you know, if I'm just gonna keep saving it for good occasions, I'm not really gonna make the most out of my money. So I just started using this for every day and it stays on your waterline. So I really like this. So if you want your eyeliner to stay on longer, just set it with a black eyeshadow. And the one that I've been using is from my Urban Decay again in Perversion. I'm gonna get it. Okay, it is from this palette, this black. It's just really matte and really pigmented and I really like it. Can't really bring this everywhere with me so that's very disappointing but I really like it nonetheless. So yeah, that one. Sometimes I don't even use an eyeliner and I just use this on my lash line and it gives me a subtle but like still defined lashes. You know, it's really nice. I like it. I also just smudge it around my lash line just to give like a hazy smoky you know effect 
for my eyes so I really like doing that that's actually one of my favorite techniques that I've been using um, this month I've not been using my eyeliner so much anymore probably December I've been using it a lot but for January it's a mix of eyeliner and just the eyeshadow on my lash line for my cheeks I've been contouring with my NYX HD Studio Photogenic Grinding Pound. Ooh, grinding. Grind on me. Anyways, I got this product from Say's Halloween Party. Hi, Say. Um, but I only just started using this to contour my cheeks. Oh, actually, this is a powder, guys. It's just like Raja. But it's darker than my skin tone. It's in Honey Beige. So just in case you want another matte bronzer, you can just buy the NYX one. This is in Honey Beige, just in case you want to know. It's kind of messy, though, just because it's a grinding one. There, you grind, and it comes off. So you, you don't have to get worried that if it breaks... You know, it's gonna like get messy because it has a thing that covers it and you just grind. I don't know. Enough said. Enough. For my favorite blush, I've been using an orange blush which is kind of new to me because everybody's using paint. And there's like this orange blush from the Sleek Trio Blush Palette. And this is in Pumpkin. I've been using this blush. When you look at it, it's like, whoa, orange. Parang, mm, I'm gonna use that. But guys, it's actually very, really... <laughs> <laughs> it's really nice. It's super duper nice, I swear. If you guys watch my Bean Boozle challenge, I'm using this blush and I'm also using it in my resolution stag. Um, I've just been using this a lot, really. So I love this one so much. If you guys do see this, do purchase it right away. It's amazing. And it's so pigmented, so you just have to be careful about it. But it's just amazing, guys. The lips I've been using a lot of the Revlon Just Bitten Lipstick lip balm I mean and Romantic Romantique and I've been using this like a lot and then after an hour I would wipe it off and it's just gonna give me like a really pink reddish lips like parang snow white effect if you guys again have seen my bean boozle challenge and people are asking me what my lipstick was well it was just one person but still she wanted to know I was kind of hesitant to, you know, use this just because I'm not really fond of the faint red kind of lips. If I'm gonna go red, I'm gonna go red. You know what I mean? Yeah. The best about this lip balm is it stains. So, it's just done. End of story. It's done. It's stained. Love it. But if you guys don't want it to stain, you guys can buy the Victoria's Secret Lip um, Glossy Lip Butters. It's basically just like the Revlon lip butter, just but it's in a pan, you know. It smells amazing. Yeah, and it's Victoria's Secret. So if you guys just you know, you know want to feel sexy, you can buy this one. Um, I bought this at Resort World Manila. Pinky lips that I've been using is my Maybelline Pink Me Up lipstick. I'm in love with this lipstick. If I'm just gonna go with a pink lip that's kind of close to my natural lip color, but I still want it to be pink, you know, uh, I use this once again in my Kim Kardashian Soft Smoky Eyes um, Face of the Day video. Uh, I'm using this lipstick and it's just amazing. Love, 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 love. It was a gift to me by my brother. Thank you, CJ. Sorry, guys, an article. But if I do want like vampy, like dark red kind of lips, I'm in love with the MAC Lipstick Cream Sheen in Hang Up. It's amazing. Okay, let's watch that. It's worth swatching. Guys. 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 I love it. If you guys are fond of dark lips, you'd understand how beautiful that is. You know, it's MAC. It's 1000 so... But I bought this at the Chitlin store for 800 50 I think. So it's 150 off you want. It's still 150. I'm McDonald's. And what I've been using to line my lips with is this dark Everblend lip pencil. It's redder than the lipstick, but you know, it kind of just hides it anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Oh my gosh, I forgot to mention highlighters. And if you guys watched my recent uh, makeup tutorial, you guys would know that I'm in love with the MAC. What do you call it? MAC Mineralized Skin Finish. And this is in soft and gentle i like this product just because it's soft and gentle it's just a skin tone kind of sheen i'm not using it right now but you can go look at my makeup tutorial and see how beautiful this especially if you did put it in the inner corner i die it's definitely worth buying this is 1800 but yeah once again it's worth buying because you're not gonna finish this in a month not even in a year even if you use it every day 
it's still gonna last you for probably two years if you use it every day if you use it every day good product to buy guys invest okay so done with the makeup let us now go on to the hair first off I want to rave about this if you guys have been looking for a good volumizer or just a dry shampoo in general, this works amazing. Guys, this is just so... This, uh, the smell is amazing and then how it works is even more amazing. It's almost not, so I can't really use this one. Oh, Merpa. It just gives her such texture. So the smell is amazing. It smells like it smells like perfume, but it's just I just love it. I love this so much. This is 1,000 pesos, but guys, if you want your hair to be volumized in about less than a minute, then you would invest in this beautiful baby. It's helped my hair so many times. I'm just so thankful, Tony and Guy. Thank you. But if you guys do just want to like mattify your hair if it's oily. You know, I still love my Lush dry shampoo, and I think I've had this for a year now, I guess. And there's still mm, one third of it, so this is 575, and it's available in all Lush um, branches. So this is good if you just want to, you know, give your hair a little bit of texture, but not really volumize, but it'll still mattify, and it won't really give like a white. You know, like ashy color on your hair. If you just pat it right, you know, better than powder, definitely. The texture of it is like foot powder. Foot powder? Yeah, but it's thin. It's not part of heavy like, like the normal baby powder. So that's the consistency of this. But you know, it does the job. So lush. Perfumes that I've been loving for the last few months really is my Victoria's Secret Romantic Wish. I've lost the cap already. I don't know. I know. It's just it happens sometimes. Anyways, yeah, I really love this scent. The Romantic Wish is almost never in the counters of Victoria's Secret. So whenever I do see it, I buy it right away. The smell It's very sweet, but it's not like fruity sweet. It's like cuddling, cuddling sweet. You just go out of the shower and just spray this. It's just like Oh my goodness, like all the guys are gonna fall in love with you. Oh. It's like a sweet smell. So if you guys just want a sweet smell like every day, that's perfect for you. Go to the nearest Victoria's. Well, there's only one right now in Manila. So go to Resort Resort Manila and buy it if they have it. If they don't, probably some of the Changge or Bazaar area have it. But just make sure it's real and legit and not Singapore authentic. So yeah, that's the cologne that I've been loving, but the perfume that I've been loving is my Dolce & Gabbana Blue. I just love this. Uh, every time I use this, like when I go out clubbing or like dinner, it just stays on your skin until the next day. And I just love that feeling of when you wake up and you smell it, like on your pillow, you know, you still smell good. I just, I really like it. It's almost gone. Well, my mom just gave this to me like halfway down just because she has a new one. And I don't know, just taking care of this and using it only on special occasions. I think if you buy this, this is about 5,000, 4,000? If you haven't smelled this, you should smell it. But I'm not sure if it's going to be your type because it has a certain strong scent to it. So, it smells very Donya, like a diva. But like, like a rich girl. <laughs> it smells like a rich, like diva. Kind of. That's how I would describe it, yeah. So, I guess that's just it for my January favorite. I'm so sorry if this video is just a long video. I talk a lot and there are just so many products that I wanted to show you guys. But I hope you guys enjoyed my January favorites and I hope you guys are interested with the products that I showed you guys. Yeah, I guess that's it. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Pass this on to people who you know would be interested in those products and they want to hear reviews about it. If you guys want to keep talking to me, please do message me on my Facebook, my Instagram, my Twitter, my Tumblr, and I have a Vine now, so please follow me there for silly short Vines, if you guys are into it. So, I think that's about it. Bye! God bless!